why do you think your visa was rejected uh my observation is uh, that uh, the visa officer realized that it was true all it is true early time for pursuing second masters because i have just uh, i am just two years in this bank and uh, i should uh, gather more experience and uh, it it is true early time and for my second masters that's why i am rejected i think hmm. okay now understand one more thing okay there are few things okay uh how old is your child uh she is four and a half four and a half okay so you have uh you know you just you got finished your mba you worked uh, did you mention uh, three and a half years of work experience in your ds160 or just two years of work experience and three and a half years and both organizations i have mentioned okay so fine so you mentioned three and a half years of work experience and now you want to do a masters and you want to take your wife and child also yes okay okay so the doubt is that you have not fully utilized what you have up till now studied and you have just three years of work experience okay three and a half years of work experience and in the three and a half years now you want to go and do masters a second masters and you want to take your wife and child so the visa officer doesn't is not convinced that you are a genuine student your intention is to study he feels that you want to settle in us and that is why you have applied for us visa okay. am i clear yeah so now the thing is how would you could convince the visa officer okay now the visa officer asks you uh, which why you want to go to this university tani albani right yes so uh, you know how did you answer that can you answer it again uh, i answered that uh, officer uh, my current job responsibility is perfectly aligned with this program structure because as i have to take investment decisions uh, where i have to use conduct many economical and financial models to take my investment decisions uh, that's why i was searching a program that's uh, that will combine both economics and finance uh, i found many us university that offers masters in economics masters in finance separately but fortunately this university uh, designed their program by combining both economics and finance here out of 30 credits i have to take 21 credits from economics and remaining 9 credits from finance that is perfectly aligned with my current job responsibilities besides um, uh, the mr uh, i all during my online meeting with professor ho who is the director of this program he make me to understand that this program is especially designed for investment bankers or investment analysts uh, financial analytics um, who the who, who wants to build their career in banking industry or this industry that's why i choose this program of this university okay so did you receive any scholarship from this university Uh, yes, I have been awarded for uh, five thousand USD. So why did you not mention it? Okay, you are there to sell yourself. The visa officer has a doubt whether you are a genuine student or not. So why Sunny Albany? Okay, why? Okay, so first could be I have received a scholarship of five thousand dollar from this university per year for my two years. That two is years. my start. right that is my start then basically i say i have been from last 3 years or 3 and a half years working in a banking industry and i have a work experience of i have a qualification of human resource management my work experience doesn't match with my qualification and if i have to go further in the banking industry i need a economics and a finance master degree which is available in my you know, sunny albany for this reason i have also corresponded with professor x and he was able to tell me about the course content he told me it has 21 courses of finance nine courses of basic economics and that's why i have selected this university okay but you did not mention about scholarship what is the difference you your entire answer was based on one factor that you have been working and you are looking for a course which can align with your work course and that you found in this particular thing and that's why 
Now, if the visa officer was not convinced with that one reason of yours, then there is no second reason why should the visa officer grant you visa? Okay. Am I making any sense to you? Okay. You know, if possible, you should have three reasons so that you have more chance of getting give, getting visa because if the visa officer is not convinced, then there are other two reasons or there could be one third reason which the visa officer get convinced and you can't show visa. Whereas your entire mm -hmm. answer was based on one factor that is your work, what you are doing is aligned to the program that you are planning to pursue in US. Okay, you have said that uh, one is point is scholarship and another point is my current master's is uh, will not cover my responsibilities. Third one is the alignment with my current responsibility. Right. Give, give as many reasons. You know, I just came to know that there are there could be three three reasons. You know yourself better. You know what are your various selling points that you can tell in your answers. But you put your answer entirely on one factor. 